doing a room tour of my office. This is where I make all my videos. This is where I do everything. Where I spend most of my day. So beyond this door, come, 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 follow me. No, 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 no. We cannot have that. We cannot have that. Before I show you, I need to work on my cable management because in the past, everybody has always commented about how horrendous my cable management is. We're going to fix this before I show you my room. Double-sided tape. Oh no, it's not sticking. <laughs> oh no, it's just hairy tape now. I am going to stick it right here so you do not see my cables. Nobody came to see you. Okay, I'm gonna tape these on the wall of my desk and hopefully that sticks. Excellent. I'm not gonna show you what's in my drawers. I said don't show them. Your scissors and an iPad. Okay, let's try this again. Where are the ladies? Come on! We're waiting for the fat one to arrive. Oh, the fat oh, one has arrived! So this is my room. I'm going to take you through every little piece of it. These are my ladies. They sit here and love each other while I record. So I really wanted this rug for my room. I got them this bed because it kind of matched the yellow on the rug. So I kind of just leave it there. But for aesthetic purposes... Oh, they stayed. Please accept my loving. I'm gonna put this right here. We keep the room at a cool 82 degrees at all times, even in the middle of summer, because I get cold. This is my little nook. These are my little friends. They're gonna have to scoot over. I sit in between them. So this is where I like to sit and watch Tiki Talkies. It is a very comfy chair. And then of course the ladies sit right next to me. And as you can see on the wall, I have invested in some very fine art. They're prints. These are by one of my favorite artists, David Shrigley. And he does like very silly art. I'm very picky when it comes to art. I feel like art should be silly. Like you should look at it and it should give you a smile. Like this. It was worthwhile doing this. And it's just like paint. That's how I feel after I make a video. And then we have the banana. The moment has arrived. The banana is ripe. Will you eat it or will you let it get browner? And then the tornado of nonsense. Do you have anything to say about my art? A good choice. <laughs> This is not a very nice chair. This is my snake plant. I've had it for a while now. I have two plants in my room. One of these plants is causing pests. Because I'll be at my desk and then they'll be buzzing around me. They are such weak, pathetic flies that I can literally just like flick them and they would like disintegrate. So one of these plants is causing it and I can't figure out who the culprit is. Probably that guy. That guy is causing a problem so I'm starving him right now. He will no longer be getting any water. So I have other prints that I want to hang up. I'm not sure how I want to do this wall. It's definitely not permanent. This one is a cactus. These are also by David Shrigley. This one says, I hate human beings. What a lovely fellow. Is this a badger? Yeah, it looks like Wumpy. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. We're burning precious sunlight. It's getting dark in here. Anyway, this is my bench. When I'm having a bad day, sometimes I would like to lay down here and look at the ceiling. Wow, my day has drastically improved. Okay, on to the more interesting wall. As you can see, I have many, many, many statues of some of my favorite anime characters. Some of them I can't show on this side of the wall. This is Neliel, I did a cosplay while I put her on. Her underwear broke off, so I can't really show you guys that. Here is my security camera. You know, just in case you wanna come in here, you're being recorded. Here's Ryuk. I don't know what he's doing here. This is another art piece that I have. This one's actually really cool. So this is an original cell from the anime Bleach, which is one of my favorite animes, and it is of Neliel. Her, Dondo Chaka, Baba Baba, and Peche. It is an original sketch from a frame in the anime, so that's pretty cool. Here's the 10 million play button. Nobody cares about the play button when I got all these bleach statues here. This is Harry Bell, and she kind of rotates. Not one of my favorites. My favorites, I love so many of these. This is Gein from Bleach. I love him, he's gorgeous. This statue the statue was horrendous to put together. There's just so many parts. Like all of these little parts actually like come out and they're attached by like a little magnet. I don't know how to read directions. I literally cannot follow any sort of directions, whether it's like baking or assembling something together. So I kind of just like put them together and see what fits. See, everything comes out of this. And then this is Stark, also from Bleach. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with the Espada. She is gorgeous. We have Yorichi right here and her little black cat. I don't know where this is supposed to go. I think the cat's supposed to go right here. Rangiku, my gorgeous queen. And then Okura, Orihime, and Grimjow. Oh, I love the Grimjow, he's so gorgeous. I'm not gonna say who this is because this is kind of a spoiler for the new season of Bleach. If you know, you know. Nami from Jujutsu Kaisen. I haven't even watched the movie that came out. Fake fan. And then everybody's favorite, Enosuke. No, I lied, he's not everybody's favorite. Uzumi's my favorite in Demon Slayer. And also we have the little muscle mouse right here 
right next to him. He is gorgeous. And then Erin Jaeger with his little bird, his chains. I didn't know where the chains went, so I kind of just like put them wherever. And then which one doesn't belong out of all these? Kaiba <laughs> from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I had a big old crush on Kaiba growing up. Oh, and then this guy. This is one of my most prized statues. So this is actually a Digimon. His name is Beelzemon. He was in one of my favorite Digimon games growing up. He was one of my first crushes. He is very handsome. <laughs> Is he not? He's gorgeous. He's a Digimon. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> kind of looks like Reaper. I feel like Reaper was like based off of him. Yeah, well, this was horrendous to like put together because all of these had to like put together. And also he came with me from like three houses. So he's been through a lot. He's still like intact. And every time I recline my chair back a little bit, I kind of hit him. So I got to push him back a little bit. This is my light behind my video. I just got to hit this button. Nothing fancy. And then turns off. Nice. And of course, we got the Wolfberry right here. My very own flavor, the most delicious of G Fuel flavors. Also got the whole mini fridge behind me. Fridge is running low. I keep my cans in my other fridge. Oh, hello there. I got some Eva units right here. My sister gave me this little nut. Isn't he sweet? I've spent $80 trying to get him out of a claw machine and I won this little lady at the fair. So this is where I sit and make my videos. As you can tell, I don't have a PC here because Digital Next took my PC because he was like, oh, you don't need this. I was like, wait, I actually do. He's like, well, you're not using it. So he took my PC, so I am in need of another PC. But right now I've been using this little Mac box. Don't look at my password. Okay, I have to close all of my windows so I don't show you anything that you're not supposed to see. No, stand back. No. <laughs> don't get any closer, I'm warning you. I'm going to open up my YouTube page, okay? Because that's all you guys need to see on here. There's my YouTube page. Okay, that's it. Before I had the Mac Pro, this was basically built into the screen, but then I upgraded to one of these and I love it. I am not an expert by any means, so I'm not gonna give you stats on anything. And then on this side, whenever I wanna play Overwatch, which hasn't been in a while, I just scooch on down. I got the Alienware monitor. I just got this because it was good looking. It's very aesthetic. It has like the white on the back of it and it matched the PS5. That's a good looking monitor, is it not? I don't know what you guys want from me. I feel I feel like every single one of my room tours are not gonna be like anything fancy. Bare minimum, okay? I don't need very much. If you want to see a fancy setup, go watch Digital Nexus. Also, this is my trash can. Oh, these are pretty cool. So a lot of people that come in here ask me about these. And instead of doing audio foam, if you haven't noticed, this is probably my only setup in a room that doesn't have audio foam behind me when I record. Because there's kind of an echo in here because it's like tile floors. So to deal with the echo, I put down a carpet. I put some furniture around. But also, I feel like these really help. This is moss. And it's alive. And it's basically like frame. It's like preserved moss. And it also acts is audio phone. So whenever I'm talking, it like bounces it off and like kind of helps with the echo. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool and I was gonna get more of these, but I never did. So I feel like this is enough and my videos don't echo too much where it's like noticeable, like, yeah, I can't watch it. But they feel really cool. They feel really nice. It's like sinking your hands into nature's hole. They're very soft, very plush. So lighting for my videos, I just use this light that I got off Amazon. It clips onto the desk. It's so easy, you just turn it on and well, bam sunlight. Oh no, it's coming off. It's never been rotated that much. And then I just turn it off when I'm done. I had one that was like Wi-Fi controlled and I had so many problems with it. And once it connected off the Wi-Fi, I tried resetting it like 50 times. It doesn't work anymore. And that one was expensive. It was like a $300 version of this. This is much cheaper. I feel like it works much more efficiently. I love manual things. I don't like Wi-Fi controlled things. Maybe I'm getting old, but like I love just like being able to turn something on with a switch and then just like adjust it with a knob. It's so much easier. Perhaps I will show you the bonus room. This is where I do pee pee. Everybody does pee pee. Now, if you don't have a bidet, get yourself a bidet. There's a butt cleaning button. If you don't have a clean butt, then you don't have nothing. I also shower in here. Also in my bathroom, I have this funny little guy. It's actually a vase or just a holder for matches. And I got pink matches to match my candle. And I stuck this little thing on the back so you can just light it like that. Behold fire. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.